Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and, uh, well, I figured I'd just invite you guys along for a little bit of my daily grinding, so you could kind of, you know, just see the tanks that I'm playing, what I do, yada, yada, yada. Not really, uh, trying to, uh, you know, play one tank or another, it's just kind of, uh, closing in on a few tanks, and, uh, Figured I'd include uh, some of the grind with those tanks. Just kind of uh, bring you along for the ride. Looks like the PLM had a backup plan to escape with supplies. If you take them all out, I'll throw in a bonus. So here I am on Operation Quarterback, which is actually like a pretty decent mission. And I've decided to uh, take this Ice Edition in on a hard mode now. Ordinarily, you know, with a tank like this, hard modes, at least uh, since the 0 0.12 update, have been uh, a little hit or miss, to say the least. But I figured, you know what? Give it another shot with this new logistics cost of only 21,000 credits. Let's see if we can actually turn out a decent amount of credits with these tanks, such as they are. And, yeah. Not exactly starting off with the best of luck. And, of course, it's not looking too, too good, so I gotta kinda get my ahead in order a little bit here. And the goal is, of course, do as much damage as possible while sustaining the least amount, but we don't have to pay for repairs, so we're not too, too pressed on the damage issue. And that's the thing about this tank now. Had this tank been actually just the Leopard 2, then we wouldn't be so bad off, because the Leopard 2 is actually uh, a very good tank, but... The 2AV is a little bit papery. It's not complete paper, but... You know, it's not exactly the toughest thing on the block. But it does have a quick aiming gun. Pretty sure that connected. Identify. That's the one thing about hard modes, and um, you know, especially at like tier six, tier seven, don't be bringing like paper tanks, man. Just <laughs> you're just wasting your time. That's the one, like, the, see, like, the Lever 2 AV, at least it's got some resilience, at least it has some chance, but there's so many tanks that people are bringing into these battles where you're just like, dude, you just have no chance. And you're more of a detriment to your team than anything, and it's just... Good work. That should slow them down for a while. It's ugly as shit, you know. Especially when we've got this many paper tanks, and now we're gonna have to go up against main battle tanks, and, I mean... We're gonna have a tough time, tough enough time as it is. We, you know, we don't need people rolling around in, in kind of garbagey tanks. So I'm just trying to work with only exposing the turret here. And that's preventing him from taking a shot, so that's a good thing. Okay, I don't know what these other two tanks are doing. There it is. Now it's spawned. Alright, so I want to kind of get up to this truck here. I want to 
use this to protect my side armor. But my front armor might not be the best either. Alright, we gotta start an engine fire here. We really gotta chip away at this guy. We gotta do it fast. Move up M60. up like that. gonna have to move in. I really don't want to do this, but we're gonna have to Identify. hopefully turn him so my teammate can hit him with the side armor. Oh, perfect. No, no, no. Show me that ass. No, no, no. ERC, stay hidden, stay hidden. Just pop out for shots. Don't, don't get too brave, dude. You're a paper tank. What are you doing? This guy could be trouble. This guy could pen me. Oh, no, 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 no. Out of ammo! Do I want to risk it? No, not really. I don't want to sp spend all those credits just to get it. Let's let ERC take it. Go ahead, dude. Take it. It's yours. Wait, here we go. Well done. Oh, Enjoy your shit. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, what a great game to start off on. I seriously, I thought, wow, you know, here I am just kind of randomly making a video. I was just going to put together a video with a bunch of random tanks. But then I figured, you know what, I'll just play it out live and just see whatever happens. And I start off with a game like that. <laughs> wow. That was a little bit crazy. 
So yeah, anyways, I already said it. Ooh. <laughs> noise. Those are some nice credits, man. What do I get to keep? 179,000. That's not too shabby at all. For PvE? That's not shabby at all, man. Alright. You know what? I'm doing this live, right? So, you know, so this way you can see just like the day-by-day -day of playing, you know, grinding through some high tiers and mid tiers and whatnot. But I kind of didn't grab a drink before I sat down. So you guys just want to hang tough for just a second. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We're back again. Now, which tank do we want to play next? We want to, at the most, take four. So we are going to take... You know what? Let's take all these. We'll do the last of our high tiers. Um, boom, 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 boom. Operation Wildfire, Challenger 2. Now, my Challenger 2 is mostly, um, mostly finished, got everything. But I really haven't spent any money on any upgrades. I'm pretty much just closing in and making sure that I've got enough so that when tier 10 comes around, I can go ahead and jump right into the Challenger 2 LEP, which hopefully we will see sooner rather than later, but I don't think they're going to be in the next patch, which is 0 0.14. Definitely not in March, probably in April. And of course, inching my way towards the T14 Armada. You know, if we get a really good event, you know, event during March, I may, I might be able to smash out the uh, T14 as well. Then we also have the M1A2 Sep V. Leopard is a little bit further away. And progress in the uh, Chinese line is uh, slow but steady. We're only at the Type 69 too, but we've almost got that finished, so we should be moving up in that line as well. That's one thing, like, thank God we got a small boost in credit earnings. It's made it actually a little bit more reasonable to get to, um, well, to progress through multiple lines at once. Now, generally, I, I do, you know, I do do pretty well in the PBE, so my earnings are usually pretty high. It's one of the things that's allowed me to progress through all the tank trees uh, quite quickly. That in a premium account, but... Ah, oh, you know what? This is actually going to be really good, because now I can, I can show you guys a spot here. This is obviously not Wildfire. This is Hydra, I believe, is the battle, so... I can actually show you guys a spot on this map where in the very first stage of the battle you can basically park your tank and just never get touched. Not even by artillery. It's pretty awesome. And the thing of it is, is like you can share this spot with multiple people and just be already immune. I'm afraid the cartel so check this out. You drive down here. Now you remember when I was talking in another video about the low truck and I was just showing you with the, with the ice where that low truck was protecting my side right at the end of the battle. Well, park up against this, and Artie won't shoot you. Or at least it wouldn't prior to the patch. So... You've got this protecting your side armor, which is awesome. And Artie will not shoot at you because most of the shells will just travel under or over the bridge. That and also if you fire downward through the driver hatch on an M8 Thunderbolt, it uh, pretty much is always a critical. So that's two uh, cute little tricks you may not have known. I 
wonder what would happen with the earnings on this tank if I were to battle harden it, because generally, like, the, le or the uh, Challenger 2 earns, like, solid-ass credits for me. And the Challenger 1, when, um, when I battle harden that, that thing earns credits like a Tier 9 does, but it doesn't have to pay the maintenance fee that the, what's it, the... That the tier nines do. It only has to pay like a twenty-eight thousand. Uh, what's a logistical the fee or tax or whatever you want to call it? Come on, turn around. Show me some side armor. There we go. Come on. There we go. A little more. A little more. There it is. At a girl. There we go. Now we're talking. This Ramka 99 is about to get killed. On my team, I think. He has just committed glorious suicide for the Emperor. God, I just love this tank so much. Seriously, if you haven't gone up the Challenger line, you're really missing. I, I mean, I know that the Chieftain is a complete, you know, is a piece of dog shit, but this tank and its predecessor and even the Ariete are just incredible tanks. I literally, like, I don't even want to sell this to get to the tier 10. I want to keep it anyway. Just because it's such an amazing tank. It just laughs at damage. And I, look, I don't even have any retrofits on this. I haven't even put on most of the upgrades. And this thing is actually just so solid. Oh shit, I forgot about the secondary here. Oh, and I missed it. At least now I can see it. Very good, Black Company. All missile sites are confirmed destroyed. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's there the it is. Clear out the defenders and capture the area. Identify target. So one thing about this game is that's like the most overused tank in these battles is that damn M8 Thunderbolt. There you go, another critical through the driver's hatch. Identify. Awesome. tank. Target hit. That time didn't work. But, you know what, I, I gotta be honest, I've gotten like an inordinate amount of criticals firing through the driver's hatch of that, uh, of the M8 Thunderbolts. Black Company, the cartel is going to come after that warehouse. Hold on to that location. Direct 
How can I damage the turret ring but not damage the tank? Seriously. Looks like we're stacking the wrong side of the map. Let's rescue this Centaro. Whoa, you're, dude. Back off, back off. What? You gotta be kidding me. Wow, he was just dialed in on my buddy there. Who was it? Centaro? Yeah. He was just dialed right in on that guy. <laughs> oh, did, were they shooting each other? Uh-oh. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Where's my team? Where is my team? Team. Hello, team. How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Shit. Got a cap, Charlie. Got a cap. Got a cap. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm getting fucking uh, tracked here, and I've got guys shooting into my side armor. So. Fuck. And I've got artillery on me. Yeah. Identify This is terrible. This is a terrible situation. Oh my god, and I'm down to fucking squash ammo. Fuck it. This is terrible, dude. I can't believe this. A 1 minute 18 seconds. These little pussies are saying GG. I'm on fire. I'm getting fucking picked on. 20,000 damage in. This sucks. Yeah, we're fucked. We're just totally fucked here. And the worst part is, is like none of this had to be this way. This is just people fucking committing suicide and acting stupid in battle. That is the whole reason why we're here. Yeah, there's absolutely no way I can get this unless I can destroy all these tanks. This is going to be massively disappointing, dude. Come on, catch. Damn it. Yeah, that's fucked, dude. The cartel has kept control of the oh man, well you can't win them all. I hope they don't do anything terrible I, with them. You know, people always, you know, kind of, you know, jam on how friggin' easy PvE is, really. 
Well, you know what? PvE would be a heck of a lot easier if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, sometimes you have to go carry mode. And so far, seems to be the prevailing theme of these battles, man. Uh, dare I? <laughs> I mean, seriously, dude. What the hell? Challenger 2! Awesome tank. Kind of needs a team that isn't, uh, you know. Oh, man. Scorpio? Really? Scorpio. You're mad, Scorpio. You're mad. Do we really want to play Scorpio, man? I don't. Is there any chance we'll hopefully we'll bounce out of this and not have to do it? Oh, man. Forget it. All right. After that last disappointment, I had to, you know, stand up and uh, kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of take a breather for a minute. But now I'm back. Challenger two, take two, Operation Wildfire. Wow, dude. I'm I'm still like I'm still mystified by that round. I'm I, I really am. I mean, what the fuck? Well, unfortunately, you can only play one tank on your team. That's kind of like, truthfully, that's just kind of why I don't do PvP. You know, I, I did it for so long in World of Tanks. And it, it was just, like, around like that is kind of like the exception here in PvE mode. I mean... The fact that those two rounds, those two, you know, carry and almost carry came together is kind of a, an anomaly, but normally you don't get disappointing PvE battles like that. But, you know, in PvP, I mean, that's just... That's just par for the course, right? And it, it just... Um, you know, it, it, it grinds at you. You know, there's all these people like, oh my god, PvE mode is easy mode, and yada yada yada. Meow, meow, meow. You guys aren't as good as we are. Meow, 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 meow. You know, and, you know, it's 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 always uh, an exceptionally adorable statement, especially when you see people who have like these like, you know, 50% win rates in PvP. You know, bragging up their their hard PvP skills. You know. Okay, sure, but you know what? Neither here nor there. Let's not rag on that too much. Let's just go ahead and play these battles and do our best. I'm glad you're here, Black Company. Cartel forces are after so in the last battle, I mean, there was really nothing we could do with the artillery. We weren't fast enough to go grab the artillery and then come back and try and cap. And, I mean, had, had the other tanks on my team survived and not killed each other, you know... I guess that would have been something, but, you know, onwards and upwards, let's just deal with it and move on. It happened. Obviously, we can't just let that just rule our existence, you know. Come on, show me some side armor. I know there's other ones out here. There we are. Wow, what is this, all leopards? Yeah. This is this is just stock armor with no upgrades. There you go. There's another critical through the hatch. Identify target. Fine. Sit down. All right. Oh, dude. 
Did we knock out a module? Thank God. Well, we finally took our first stitch of damage. We should probably angle our hull just a touch so they can't shoot down the uh, driver port. <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm still a little bit salty about that round, dude. I mean, like, that was just ridiculous. People talk about how easy PvE mode is, man. You, you try and, you know, you try and go ahead and solo these battles because, uh... Sometimes that's pretty much what you end up doing. Oh, guns damage, really? That, that's new. I swear to God, man, like... You know, back when Artie was really, really brutal in the early days of PvE, I mean, guns damage, damage tracks and all that, I mean, that just became par for the course, and then they upped the uh, hit points on, uh, on modules to kind of mitigate that because it was annoying as shit, but now it just seems like guns damaged is the new mantra for this game. It's like, your guns damaged, your guns damaged, your tank's always tracked. And certainly we saw enough of that in the last battle. Come on. There's got to be a shot down through the top of his turret here somewhere. No. Uh, Leo, are you going to go grab that secondary? Are you going to be a good boy? Yes, you are. I'll go grab this one. Is it still here? Yeah, there it is. Well done. It's two, now, three. On That's all of them. Right on. All right, I've got a good team here, man. I really do. I mean, I'm not crazy about Paladin, but you know what? If you can play it well, more power to him. I think I got a good team. You know what, I'm wondering, like, because I still have to do my taxes for this year, I wonder, like, if I can use the last battle as, like, evidence that I'm, like, caring for somebody with, with, you know, certain, you know, impairments. And I wonder if I can qualify for a tax credit, because technically when I play these battles more often than not, I'm, I'm caring for the disabled, you know? Right? Isn't there, like, some kind of tax credit that you get if you're caring for somebody who is, you know, somewhat challenged? I think I qualify. I, I, I really, really do. Damn. I was hoping he was going to drive right into that. This is another good spot to park yourself in. In the early battles here. Is right around here. You're very well covered, and uh, artillery can't nab you as easily, if at all. There's just some positions that you can get into that artillery just does not bother with you. And you know, back in the in the days when artillery was just insane, you know, you just learn things like this. You just learn to find these spots. Identify target. Hostile tank. That's the thing about this position is when the when the enemies are kind of like all coming from this direction, controlling this spot can actually allow you to uh, really filter out for the rest of your team. You can filter out a heck of a lot of tanks that are driving into the battle and help them out without exposing yourself too, too much. Oh man, there's like a weasel out here, isn't there? I can see him, but I can't see him. Forces Interesting. Delta seven. We'll take care of their cargo planes. Oh, well, you know. It's a Bradley. Bye, Bradley. Okay, they've got Chally one over there. These guys are, for the most part, I think, just going to drive into me anyways when they try to get the cap, so I don't have to worry about exposing myself too much. 
exposing myself and making me sound like a pervert. This could be a bad thing because they could be coming up from my left. Ooh, that was nice. That was a dirty shot because I thought that wasn't going in. That's the thing, man. Challenger 2. Can't recommend it enough. It's such a good tank. I say that just as I bounce a shot. Such a really great tank. Watch this. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, I think I'm going to keep this, and I'm actually going to, you know, I am going to post this, even with those two shitty battles at the beginning. I'm just going to tie these together, and uh, let her rip. Wow, that was artillery moving to probably get an angle on me or something, I don't know. Since we don't have to worry about Artie, let's, let's just charge right in there. Let's just, let's just do this, man. Let's just, let's just be cowboys. Let's just ride into battle. Where could they be coming from now? Cause it's only from this sweep that they can be coming now. Cause they don't they don't spawn behind us anymore, I don't think. Oh, there's an artillery out there. But sometimes the, in the late stage there's guys that come from over here. No? Hello Artie. Bye Artie. Fuck you. Oh yeah, by the way, since it's a live gameplay, I will include all my swearing and cursing and yada yada yada. It's funny though, like, you know, after after those two battles, man, it was it was funny that Scorpio was the thing that just made me go like, no, fuck this. <laughs> Fucking Scorpio. Like, I really, like, that battle was never that bad to begin with, but it really just turned into a shit sandwich after multiple patches. Like, you know what? You know what this battle needs? More artillery. More artillery just firing with impunity from all over the map. There we go. Uh, that'll make it fun, you know? There's one thing that I've learned that players really love. It's uh, random explosive shells just raining on their tank, you know? And, and there's really just nothing they can do to get at it. Unless they're willing to get shot in the side armor, like, a bunch of times. That's, that's to me, really good level design. Alright, let's see how we did. We'll, we'll try to squeeze in one more battle. And then we'll cut this together and post this up on the intertubes for the enjoyment of all those who choose to enjoy it. Wow. I might have to think about doing some upgrades on Leopard 2 AV because that sucker really friggin' earned. But you know what's really good is this Challenger 1, Battle Hardened. This thing can pull down, like... Tier 9 credits, but without the logistics fee. This thing is actually pretty damn good. Fucking snake bite, really? Um, you know what? Snake bite's a shitty map, so. You know what? Let's stack the deck in our favor. Let's take M1A2. M1A2 Abrams. Main battle tank, America. Viva America. Who knows, maybe we'll be get bumped into the next battle. Into something else, hopefully. I don't know. Operation Life Jacket? Nah, it was removed from the rotation. Unfortunately. <laughs> Operation Life Jacket was good, man. And they came at you from many directions. And there was a shitload of hit points that you could really just abuse. Oh, good. All tier 9s. All main battle tanks. 
my second least favorite map next to uh, Scorpio. But the team looks solid, man. The team looks solid. No Ramka 99s or disappointing T90s. <clears throat> you know what? Everyone has an off day, so I, I really shouldn't say anything. But <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, that was terrible, man. Good luck. Identify. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get you know what, everyone has an off day, but still. I mean, I, I feel that I have the right to complain about that, because that was exceptionally off. Identify. Are you gonna? Uh, hey. Maybe? You just gonna take that shot there, bro? Broski? Because I don't want to, like, drive in front of your gun barrel, but at the same time, I, like, I kind of want to play the battle. And positioned the way you are, you're kind of, you know. Alright, sorry, dude. I'm cutting in front of you. You're just gonna have to deal with that shit. I'm cutting in line. Incoming. Oh look, it's artillery! Everyone's favorite! I mean, it does add another dimension to the battle, but the dimension is shit. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. It's a little bit my bad there. I thought he was a little further ahead. Just trying to cut up here real quick. I was getting ahead of my shower fit, now I paid for it. Black Company, new objective. Don't let those trucks get away. Don't let those trucks get away. They've got government supplies. What kind of supplies? Incoming! Fuck! Off! Wow. This isn't frustrating at all, is it? Not at all. This is just this is just good game design. Uh. Fuck me. All right, it's it, it's time to be a heathen. It's time to be a dirty heathen. Fuck you. And fuck you. And let's continue saying fuck you to everything we see. I'm not frustrated. I have my emotions under control. I got a certificate from my guidance counselor that says I can... I'm now able to work with other people. Wow, I've already made off-color remarks about people with certain disabilities, and now I'm making fun of people with anger management issues. This is just a banner video, this dude. This city. is offensive as sure shit. You know what? We're gonna post it anyways. We'll just call it honest gameplay, dude. Fuck me, man. Wow. Uh.
Alright, we're gonna gamble that when these guys hit the spawn, the enemies are gonna be coming from that direction. We're gonna grab the secondary so that we know it's done. We will send someone to recover the stolen supply. No, Leopard, it's mine! You can't have it! I want the secondaries. Oh, shit. Oh, here's a chance for vengeance. No. Lost our spot. Alright, come on, hit it. Come on, hit it. Black Company, hold for reinforcements. Sams are on the way. Uh, da, 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 da. Now watch, these guys are all going to come from this direction now. That's the way it's going to be. That's just the way it is going to be. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Yup, yup, yup. I might be able to fire through these. Identify. And nab a shot. No, I don't think so. It's registering it as one solid object or something. Whatever. Oh, fuck. And there's artillery. Oh, artillery. Alright, I'm not trying to cap here. I'm just driving through. Just moving through, guys. Relax, relax, relax. I want to farm damage as much as you do. It's so one of the things I hate about this map is it's just so tainted. The history of this map is just so tainted. I mean, this map had all kinds of bugs in it when they first released it, and then they, thank God, pulled it out of the rotation. But it just means that they just keep trying to salvage this map and it's just got bad history dude no no that's okay right in front of my barrel that's perfect good job challenger reach for the stars I mean seriously dude All right, you know what, since I guess that's what we're doing, right? We're just driving up in front of our teammates and blocking their shots. Let's do that. Here. Is it? Oh, fuck, they get tracked. Here we go. Me take hits for you. Mine. Mine. Okay. Good one. Losing their ordinance should be a heavy blow for the PLN. They won't be blowing up anything <laughs> for a while. Tracked by my own team. Awesome. Only 11,000 damage? Oh, that was kind of, uh, sucktastic. But, you know what? A victory is a victory is a victory. Uh, it's much better to have 11,000 damage and a win than 22,000 damage and a loss. Not that I'm bagging on anything in particular. <laughs> oh, hey. Skill upgrades. Alright. 
let's see, what do we want? We want to spin the win. We want... We want quick draw. And for this, we want rapid fire. There we go. All right, nice. Um, Leopard 2A5, always mildly disappointing. And we finish where we began, on quarterback with a German tank. Oh my, oh my, this looks very promising indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. These people got things to do, man. They don't want to be watching, no waiting. They want to be watching a battle. Jeez. You know, at the rate I'm earning credits, I should be able to cover my first two tier 10s, no problem, which will probably be the M1A2 and the Challenger 2, or the Ch M1A2 LEP and the Challenger 2 LEP. Life extension projects. T14 Armada should come shortly thereafter, but that's all, of course, presuming that we actually get tier 10 tanks in April, but that is not a guarantee. But I really want to see insane mode, right? And that's kind of why I'm I'm heavily gambling on the Challenger line is because I think that resiliency in the tier 10 coupled with insane mode battles and possibly you know, spending some gold and hardening that tank could turn it into a potentially like a big cash earner, which would alleviate a lot of the uh, a lot of the expenses allow me to just, you know, buy tanks and just throw all kinds of retrofits on them. Now, like, I've got the high-end retrofits or some of them. It might just alleviate some of that pressure while I'm uh, leveling up through tanks. Now, I do understand, like, the reason why they kind of limit credit earnings in general to encourage people to get, like, premium account or, like, buy gold, which, of course, finances the game. I get it. I totally understand that. But here's the thing, like... I've got premium account and you know I just went through three months of premium account paying out like jack shit. I think we're entitled to a little overage right now. You know? That's just me. That's just me. That's just my opinion on the matter. Alright. Let's go. Come on. Welcome to the desert, Black Company. We know what's what. The PLM sprung a surprise attack on us and took over the refinery, but you're going to help us take it back. We need to take the refinery. Otherwise, the PLM will control oil prices for the entire region. I don't recommend the front door. Good luck. All right, T-80, which... Uh, T-80 can be good, but T-80 has notoriously got shitty armor. Supposedly there's going to be an upgrade coming to that sometime in the future, but right now, not so much. Uh, Ramka 99, well, we saw that in the uh, Cavalcade of Disappointment a couple of battles ago. Um, Leopard 2, Leopard 2 is actually a very strong tank. I enjoyed it, and it would be one of the tanks that I might buy again if credits weren't such a limiting factor right now. I probably would never have sold it. I actually enjoyed it better than I en I've enjoyed Leopard 2A5 thus far. This fire. Did I say that right? Yeah, close enough. Um, BMD4 can be played very, very well and can be a huge contributor to a battle. But in a hard mode, the deck is kind of stacked against you. And of course... We've already seen how this battle can play out, so hopefully we are not going to end where we began completely. That was a wasted shot, but imagine if that had connected. Here is a Fragile M1 Abrams. Fragile, of course, meaning it's Italian. Hey everybody, it's your old friend Artie. Here to here to make sure you're all having a good time. 
You know, just just here to party. Well, so far it's more or less leaving us alone, so we'll accept it. In a weird way, you know, Artie, it's it's kind of like you kind of accept that it's got to be here to a certain degree, but at the same time, it's just like as long as it doesn't bother me, you know, it's it's like that one person at a party is like, you know, fine, I'm I'm all right with him being here. I'm all right with her being here, but as long as they leave me alone, you know, because if I gotta listen to like conspiracy theories all night, then nah, I might have to tell someone to shut up. And then of course I already starts, you know, crapping on you, and then you're like, yeah, no, he's gotta go. Uh, Leopard two, that's actually surprising that he died. So that is like. Usually a very good tank, and that's surprising that that missed. Really? Alright, let's go get this secondary, because I have a feeling that I'm going to be the only one who's going to try. And I don't want to be sitting there and thinking, oh man, we could have had the secondaries and a little bit of bonus, but I drove past it trying to whore up points. Good work. Not that that ever happens in this game. Oh, hey, artillery! No, I, I didn't forget about you. You fuck. I, you know what? Is it missiles? Uh, no, I think missiles are kind of mediocre on this tank. It's not like the Russian tank where you don't really have to bring heat shells, you can bring missiles and get the big hits in, but at the same time you kind of don't want to because APS kind of uh, dampens the value of missiles. Where's this guy hiding? I know you're out here. I know you're hiding out here. Where are you? There you are. Hello. Hello, Miss Artillery. Did I tell you about fuck you? I'm sorry, I'm kicking you out of the party, man. You just you just gotta learn to shut up sometimes. Sorry. Oh, hey, T-90. There you go. Nice job, Ramka. Nice job. See, this is, this is what it's like when you got good teams, man. Yeah, you know, PvE does get a little bit, uh... A little bit like you're floating right through it when you got a good team, man. And this is a good team. If you take right? all out, I'll throw in a bonus. What do you mean you'll throw in a bonus? We already got all the bonus. <laughs> Where did that missile go? Has he got it? Yeah, he's got it. Alright. We'll leave him to it. Alright, that's that. Now as soon as someone touches a cap, we're gonna right, get company, we're gonna get a whole bunch more. Possibly somebody right Even there. That's so why I wanna keep this flatbed to my side armor. Nice. This tank isn't fully upgraded yet. I still got the base gun. I've only upgraded the ammunition. But it still it still gets good rounds. 
And that's one of the good things about this game is you don't have to like go through like a week of grinding a tank just to get it, you know, playable. Whereas, you know, you spend a whole bunch of time playing with this tank that is just insufferably worse than the tank you just upgraded through in that other, you know, tank game. Not mentioning any names. Oh shit, we've already burned through all our ammo. That used to be like a big problem on. Aw, you fucker. Used to be a big problem on, uh, on the T90. Is you would kind of burn through ammunition real early. What? But then when you get to the T90MS, you got like 46 rounds instead of 36. And you still get all the missiles, so. Let's see if we can't walk this through. There we go. Oh shit, we're running out of time here. At least this guy doesn't have an APS system. But he does love to hammer us with the HE shells, which is always fun. See, this has, hasn't been that bad of a round, man. Was it 17k damage? And a uh, barely upgraded Leopard too. I'll take it. Oh, dude! Why? Why? Oh, you f fucking fuck. <laughs> fuck, dude. Don't just charge in front of people's guns like that, man. Well done. We've taken the refinery. Uh, you know what? We won. So we'll just leave it at that. So that has been some of the hilarity and randomness of the Armored Warfare world. A bunch of live gameplays with a, with a short break in between to uh, balance my emotions after that uh, disappointing battle. But you know what? Everyone has an off day. I guess. Let's see how we did, and then we'll close this off, edit it together, throw it up on YouTube, see what people think. 128,000, not bad, except for that wonderful logistics fee, which kind of ruins it. You know, just, this is it. This is, shut up, what, take the logistics fee out of it, please. Not bad, not bad at all. So, that has been it. So I hope you guys enjoy these battles. Um, some good, some bad, some in between. Um, a look at all these tanks, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.